Hi, good morning. Thank you for the opportunity. Allow me to explain to all of you about my interesting topic here in Indonesia, which is a inspecting and operating extraordinary pipeline, the longest and the most challenging subject pipeline in Indonesia. I do hope that I could send the message well to all of you related to this interesting topic about our topic today. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot see you face to face because of this coronavirus uh, pandemic. We hope that you could uh, uh, take the message in my interesting topic today. So, my name is Agung Setriadi. You may call me Agu. I spent five years of my career handling offshore pipeline. The project that uh, I handle related uh, offshore era rectification project of 29th we spent and then intelligent pick on extreme condition. Now my company uh, have been transferred me to another unit operation in Sumatra area of Indonesia. My project is about restoring pipeline integrity of 224 level taking spot on crude pipeline transmission. So, speaking of my country in Indonesia, as you may know that Indonesia is the biggest archipelago in the world. Our country is formed more than 5,000 islands span from west to east of Indonesian archipelago. As the biggest archipelago, our government made the challenge one of the challenges that our government had to face is to balance the gas demand in our country. As you can see here in the blue table here, this is the demand in, in, in certain area of uh, Indonesia uh, island. I mean, this is the supply of uh, gas in Indonesia island. So here is the supply. The supply is about the supply of gas here is 1,000 million metric standard cubic feet, while the demand only 253 standard cubic feet. In the other hand, in the west of Indonesian side here in in, in East Java here, the demand itself is larger than the supply itself. Uh, one of the key in order to face this problem is infrastructure. Infrastructure is the key in meeting Indonesian gas demand. As you can see that right, this is one of the problems that our, our um, government have to face. That is why our company exists. My company we are a midstream company, subsidiary of Indonesian National Oil Company, um, focusing in pipeline transmission, Pertamina gas. We operate more than 2,000 kilometers of pipeline transmission here uh, in every island in Indonesia. As trans and as transported of gas, we also have uh, transported 1,400 1, million metric standard cubic feet natural gas transported uh, in, in, in all over Indonesian country, which is, it makes we are one of, we are the biggest transporter of gas in Indonesia. In terms of unit operation, our company has at least five unit operation here in Aceh, here in uh, North Sumatra, South Sumatra here, and Java here, and Kalimantan itself here. On this opportunity, I will focus on my unit operation in Eastern Java area itself. So, on the graphic source, as the comparison of our unit operation in Eastern Java area, this is the the the, the land of the Indonesian subsidy pipeline here. 
we are we have 370 subsea pipeline here in 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 east java side our pipeline span on the north of bali island here the north of bali island here about 360 kilometer and have 28 28 of inch of diameter here um, so as you may know that bali is one of the, the famous island to get leisure and holiday because um, its beautiness and very a uh, lot of spot to visit here. A lot of gas we transported here for power plant in East Java area. The power plant here will support it is Java province and Bali and some other gas here will be utilized as raw material in fertilizer and petrochemical company in um, Grosit region. Nearly half of the nearly half of the gas demand here are channeled to our pipeline here which is operated by our company and it makes that our uh, subsea pipeline here is the artery of East Java in fulfilling the high demand of gas in East Java area. So, speaking of milestone of the, 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 the pipeline, this pipeline was built in 1993 Therefore, the first inland inspection was conducted in 1993 as well. And then unfortunately, on 2006, there are accidents on our onshore pipeline here. Uh, the onshore pipeline explode caused by a Lapindo mood here. And then we have also um, the failure in inland inspection in 2012 because of the back pressure. I will elaborate to all of you later here and then uh, here we plan that we could uh, conduct the inline inspection in 2020. So all of the problem begin in here. On 2006 uh, you may see in the table here you may see in the table here the hot mud started spurting from the ground that nowadays we call it La Pindamun accident of Indonesia. So this is the hot mud today. It's some uh, 13 village in three sub uh, district in uh, Sido Arjo. Um, you can see the impact that this La Pindamun sang 13 village villages in three sub districts which is uh, it cover a lot of area in Sido Arjo area and then all of the area have been sunk because of this mode.